Good morning, boys and girls. Pastor Ryan and Miss Hannah here. Welcome back to Kids Church. We are finishing our month of October off stage. Drop the act where we're learning all about that big word, integrity. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Yeah, integrity is that really big word. It's easy to do the right thing when the spotlight is on you, right? When mm. your teachers or your parents are watching you. But how are you living when the spotlight is off of you? Mm. Are you being kind? Are you being a good friend? Are you staying as the same person all the time. So we're gonna check in with that live loud one more time and refresh what integrity is. Are you always you? Let me try that again. Are you always the same you, no matter who you're with? It's tempting sometimes to wear two different faces in two different places. You're polite to your teacher, but you snap at your mom. Or you answer every question in small group, but you don't speak up when a kid at school is being bullied. Or you're always careful with screen time at home, but at a friend's house, you visit websites your parents haven't okayed. You tell yourself you're not lying, not really, not with your mouth, but your actions say that you're two different people. Instead, you can choose to be truthful in all you say and do. Treat everyone with respect, not just the people who can help you. Choose to always obey your parents, even if they're not around. And if you love building epic Lego creations at home, don't pretend at school you don't like Legos because it might not be cool. When you choose to be the you that God made you to be, no matter where you are, others can see God at work in you. That's why integrity is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Wow, what a great live loud that was. That really challenges me to be my true self, who God created me to be, and not someone different just to impress others or try to be cool. That's so good, Miss Hannah. Integrity is super important. People need to be able to trust you and know that when they're talking to you, they're talking to the real you. Speaking of trust, we should play a game, Miss Hannah. A game? Should we play a game? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna play Fantastic Facts, AKA Two Truths and a Lie. Just a disclaimer, I would never ask you to lie at home, but because of this game, you can lie, okay? <gasps> I can't wait, this is my favorite game. You can't wait to lie? No, I can't wait to beat you. Okay, anyway, if you don't know how to play, you can play at home with anybody. You're gonna come up with three things about yourself. Two of them are the truth, and one of them is a lie. So I have to guess which one is the lie? Yes. So if I said, I am the most handsome man in the world, but that that's, would be the truth. That is the truth. Yeah, two truths and a lie. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you wanna go first? Do you want me to go first? Uh, rock, paper, Dominic. scissors? All right, ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. You go first. Uh, cat beat scissor. No. <laughs> okay, so That's go a first. paper. All right, so I'm gonna go first. So my three things, and I bet I can stop Miss Hannah and see if you can guess at home. My number one is that I own two dirt bikes. That's my first. Don't guess until the end. So my first thing is I own two dirt bikes. My second thing is that I've been to Italy. I went to Italy when I was nine years old. And my third thing is that I love swimming. So I have two dirt bikes, I've been to Italy, and I love to swim. Which one do you think is the lie? Mm, what do we think, boys and girls? Does Miss Hannah know me? <gasps> I know this because I live with Pastor Ryan. So what's it, what do you think it is? You've never been to Italy! What? How did you know? Because I've always wanted to go Ms. there. Ms. Hannah, you really listen to me. I know. All right, so now it's your turn. Okay. I have two dogs. 
you have two dogs? I have my bachelor's in music. What's a bachelor's? Bachelor's is college. I have my college education in music. Oh. And clarinets. And I love to snowboard. You love to snowboard. Well, Miss Hannah, clearly you, the lie is that you like to snowboard. So you think I got my bachelor's in music? I thought you told me that you played the mandolin and the piccolo. No, oh, well that was a lie. That what? was an actual lie. <laughs> you told me that you don't like to snowboard. No, I love to snowboard. All right, I gotta learn uh, a little bit more about you. You don't know me. I do know you. All right, so hey, you should play at home. And like I said, it's not okay to lie only for this game though. Mm -hmm. So I think we should jump into worship now, right? <gasps> Let's do it, boys and girls. So everyone stand up and let's praise God. Before the day I took a breath, you had a plan for my every step. You promised to always be by my side. I believe that you are the way, you are the truth, you are the light. Hey, we're gonna jump into our Bible story, but before we do that, we haven't done a sword drill in a while, Miss Hannah. I think the boys and girls swords are getting a little rusty. Oh, yeah. that was funny. All right, so what do we do? I think we should all grab our Bibles. Da -da 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 -da. Go grab your Bibles at home, and then it's a race to get to the right scripture. So on your mark, Where we're we gonna doing? go to First. Philippians 4 8. Philippians 4 8. Philippians 4 8. Philippians 4 8. Let's go. There you go. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and all of. Is that it? No. Oh, okay. uh, uh, is this in the New Testament or the Old Testament? Is that I need help? Philippians New Testament. Okay. Philippians. 
Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Ooh, that is a good mm. verse. You know what, Miss Hannah, that's actually the verse that we're talking about in our Bible story. Is that a coincidence? <gasps> Whoa, I think so. I think it's a coincidence, but hey, we're gonna actually find out a story about someone that needed this verse. Let's check it out now. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 8. Horatio liked to keep track of things in his head. Five kinds of cereal in the cabinet. Seventeen braids on his sister Nala's head. Two voicemail messages left on his parents' landline phone. Oh, seriously, Mom? You are so stuck in the 1990s. Horatio was especially good at keeping track of things that went wrong. Number one, we're out of chocolate frosted sugar bomb cereal. Horatio's mother did not always appreciate his lists. I did not buy that. Your dad bought that. Number two, it is freezing in here. Put on a sweater. Number three, Miss Watson is making us do a group project and they are the worst because everyone else drags me down. Horatio, can you please focus on something positive for once? Just keeping it real. Oh, oh, I know about positive stuff. Miss Christie told us. Horatio's little sister, Nala, began rummaging around in the stacks of random paper on the counter. There is nothing positive about this morning and I'm positive about that. Nala pulled out a scribbled on handout and waved it triumphantly. Philippians 4, 8? Do not read me a coloring sheet. Finally, my brothers and sisters, always think about what is true. Think about what is noble, right, and pure. Mom, make her stop bugging me. No, this is good. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. If anything is excellent or worthy of praise, think about those kinds of things. Horatio just glared and checked out the lunch that Mom had packed. Is this strawberry jam in my sandwich? You know I only eat apricot jam. Over the next two hours, Horatio counted dozens of annoying things. Number one, this bus stinks like dirty socks stuffed with Cheetos. Number two, the classroom door needs some WD-40. Number three, Miss Watson is wearing yellow and I hate yellow. Number four, this pencil is making a giant callus on my finger. Number five, group projects are still the worst. Number six, it's way too hot over here. And to make matters worse, Miss Watson had put Tish James in charge of the group. Ugh. So, we get to do a report on Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. I'll write the history and Jordan, you can paint a picture, and Horatio, you research stuff about the land and animals around it. Number seven, Tish is super bossy. Oh, and here's a picture of the lighthouse. Tish held up a glossy photograph and Horatio opened his mouth, ready to complain about how boring lighthouses were, but he couldn't do it. Hatteras Lighthouse, spiraling into the sunset sky, was breathtaking. He could picture walking the beach and waves crashing as the warm light glowed overhead. Ah. And Horatio couldn't help hearing an echo of his little sister's voice. Think about what is lovely and worthy of respect. <laughs> there it was, right in front of his face. Horatio found brand new thoughts forming in his brain. Hey, that looks really cool. That's amazing. It was as if a switch had flipped in Horatio's head. After seeing one good thing, he started to see more. Jordan had brought in some paintings he had done. Number one, Jordan, you are a really great artist. Ms. Watson helped Horatio solve some tough fractions by drawing a funny sketch. Number two, Ms. Watson is a super creative teacher. Mom had packed homemade cookies and Horatio's lunch. 
Number three, my mom makes the best chocolate chip cookies on the planet. Who wants to share? By the time Horatio got off the school bus? Number four, Mr. Rob drove us right up to our house because of the rain. He was actually smiling. Mom met them at the door. Hey kids, how was school? At that moment, Nala shook out her wet umbrella all over Horatio. And for a moment, Horatio frowned. Nala braced herself. Uh, sorry. Number five, I have a closet full of dry clothes upstairs. Nala's eyebrows shot way up. What happened to you? Nothing. I just realized I've got some pretty great things to focus on. So your day went okay? Number six. It was positively awesome. Horatio beamed and ran upstairs to change his wet shirt. He had a lot of brand new lists to make up in his head. That was an awesome Bible story that reminds us how important our attitudes are. You know, that was actually written by the Apostle Paul to a city called Philippi. He wrote that letter to the Philippians explaining that what we think about really matters. We often think about negative things that are, you know, that frustrate us and that are angry, but Paul was telling them that we should fix our eyes on other things that are good. So if there's one thing you remember today, it's focus on what's true. Have you ever decided to change your focus and focus on the bright side of things? Maybe being thankful for what God has given you, your friends, your family, the fact that he takes care of you and gives us everything we need. That's so good, Miss Hannah. When we look at the truth about God, we see how good he is in our lives, right? We can be thankful for so many things that he gives us, like Miss Hannah said, our friends and our family. And if we look to the good things and our perspective, our minds change, we can really live the life that God called us to be. Mm -hmm. So why don't we close out in prayer today and I pray that we have that mindset change and that we look mm -hmm. at the good that God has created. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, we just thank you, Father, for this day. We just ask, Lord, that you would be at the forefront of our minds, Father, that we would look at the bright side of things this week, God, and that your love would be with us, Jesus. We ask, Lord, that you would bless every child watching this and that we would get to know you more this week, Lord. We love you so much. We ask this in your awesome name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we miss you so much. We will see you next time for a new series for November. So stay tuned and have an awesome week. Love you guys.